Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 200. And nine today. Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Rivals Rewards Day. Um, oh, can you remember back in the day when we used to get all of our awards on a Thursday? It was like the best day of the week. Kind of missed that. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comments. Um, hope you're all well. Uh, yeah, welcome to today's video. If you enjoy it, hit me with a little thumbs up. Subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. Cheers. And follow me on social media. All my links are down below. Um, so today, I'm going to go ahead and do my daily cool, fun SBC packs. We're going to start off here, actually, with a Flash SBC and the UEFA Marquee Matchups Rewards. Uh, then I'll do my 84 times sevens. I don't think I've got any player picks for you today. No, I didn't do any player picks today. That's all right. I'll do some tomorrow once we've got our Rivals Rewards. We're then going to complete a big old icon SBC. SEN, you've seen the thumbnail and stuff, right? Uh, and then, of course, it's time to stick him into an Evo. And then I need to get all seven of my rivals wins because I was filming and recording this on Wednesday. I wanted my rewards for Thursday. You guys are watching this on Thursday. So let me know what you've managed to get in your rivals rewards if you still play that game mode. Uh, and also, you can let me know what division you're in. I'm curious because I'm sort of in Div 5, happy to push myself up to Division 4 um, if and when the time comes uh, so that we can maybe get even better rewards. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, I get like 12 packs from Division 5 if I take untradeable, which is a little bit a little bit nutty, really, isn't it? Oh, um, <clears throat> as you can see there, we didn't get an awful lot. I did get 187, I guess, from one of the packs from either Marquee Matchups or, or the, the Flash SBC. Here's my 84 times sevens, though. First up, we are getting Brazilian Cam. That's Debinia, if I've ever seen one. Uh, single walkout, though. A little bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, we do get... Oh, I remember how good this card was at the start of the game. I was obsessed with Debinia and Alex Morgan and uh, Crystal Dunn in the middle. They were great cards uh, at the very start of the game. Let's hope that during like Team of the Season or later throughout the cycle, there's like an absolutely insane Debinia card that can just like wiggle through everyone. That would be ideal for me. I'd love that. Um, <clears throat> next up, we get just an 86 individual walkout. Couple 85s in the dupes, but yeah, really not a great one. So uh, the final one is going to be German centre mid, Tony Kroos. We know that by now, and we get him quite often. Uh, followed by, who else do we get really often? Like Luka Modric, Bernardo Silva, Casemiro. Ah, Bernardo Silva, that's the one that we're going to get in this pack right here. Um, other normal players we get, like Parejo and all that sort of stuff, but I doubt we'll get... Oh, oh my God, we got a Parejo in here as well. Wow, it's almost like I knew that was coming. Um, but yeah, again, once loads of duplicates. So I put some of that stuff into a Team of the Week player pick. Got some high-rated choices today. I ended up taking Bastoni because I know I've got a better version. And it means I'm happy to put that card into an SBC whenever. Uh, and then I just committed to the Michael Essien SBC. Decided that I was going to go ahead and unlock him. Because that new Galazzo show Evo came out. And I tell you what. It looks absolutely unbelievable. Um, it turns a player like Essien from a just a plus one overall, but it gives him like really, really nice stats. So uh, I was certainly happy enough to to put players into that. And you know what? I, I didn't even have to go out onto the market. I yeah, I, I probably got rid of quite a lot of the golds, like the top end golds in my club, and a few special items, but. It was super easy to do. Do you know what? I'm thinking about it. I probably would have... Well, I definitely struggled quite a bit more with the Ronaldinho SBC. But I bet you I could have got all four of the 90 rated squads done and said goodbye to some of the players that are just sitting there gathering dust in the club. I probably could even still do that. But I think we should probably not... Who said this? So, so Foot Concepts, Dan, if you guys know him, uh, who makes like the graphics for um, like the, for the thumbnail and stuff, all of that, all of that good stuff, and my channel art. Uh, he told me uh, you're not allowed players with passport pictures in April. So what he means by that is default pictures. We have to have dynamics uh, going forward. So base Ronaldinho SBC would not quite cut it, would it? But we welcome SEN to the club. The quickest I've ever done an 11-part SBC, that's for sure. Did not have to grind that one out at all over a week or so. I just had the cards in the club. Uh, 91 SEN, welcome to the club. High, high work rates. 
Four star, four star. Really, really good defending stats, of course. Physical stats. He's pretty quick as well. Going to be even quicker once we put him through the Evo. Um, Originally, I put a Guardian on him, and then I decided, you know what, let's put an Artist on him. I want to increase the passing and dribbling of this card. They are the worst two stats, and they're also stats that aren't going to be upgraded via the Evo. So the Galazzo Show, I had these five options to choose from. I've ended up going with the 91 SEM to turn him into a 92. Don't worry, he won't look green like this forever. Uh, we will actually get the icon design back as well at the end, which is a Big dub, in my opinion. Part of the reason why I don't do some Evos is because I don't like the... It's a bit boring, isn't it, seeing that, that classic Evo design. Like, that Bastoni, I actually kind of like the design he had before. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I wish I could almost have that, but have the stats of the Evo, if you get what I mean. So, into some, uh, into some division rivals I go. My opponent there had first owner, Usman Dembele, Fantasy Fuck, whatever it's called. First owner, Drogba. Pele and 94 Bobby Charlton. Insane squad. Uh, I would imagine Store Pack FC. But he quit after 1 0 after two minutes. So I was buzzing with that. I needed to absolutely fly through these, not going to lie, because uh, this was being recorded from about 2 30 p.m. And obviously, it takes quite a while to get your seven wins. I know I needed to finish by about. Uh, so half four later, so I had about two hours to get all of my rivals footage um, and actually it was when I started filming the episode so all of those packs and stuff were before that as well so this was probably like three o'clock I knew I needed to leave, you know finish by about half four so I could you know have like an early dinner get editing get filming and then go out to the football because I've got Ipswich versus Watford tonight you guys will know the result of that hopefully I've come back with three points there that'll be uh, massive for Ipswich if we if we can do that but of course uh, it's going to be an insanely tough game there's no doubt about it so I couldn't really tell you what's going to happen but for uh for those of you that want past Lasty's uh, score prediction before the fact, I've gone with a 4-2 Ipswich win tonight. That's what I hope for. Because um, I know, it's, I feel like it's going to be a high-scoring game. But yeah, who knows? I'm, I'm, I might be showing some absolutely terrible ball knowledge there. We shall see. Um, but Rivals was going quite well for me. Yes, I had the odd rage quit here and there from myself like if I went 1-0 down super early on the guy looked like a sweat or 2-0 down or anything I would just quit and move on make everyone else's life easier they get their quick win in rivals and move on to the next one and I get to simply move on and not worry about it so was not getting stressed at all. Uh, I then got my daily games played stuff done. That gave me uh, a couple of packs. The very first pack here, I get a duplicate 89, uh, sorry, 90 rated Park Ji Sung, which is the lower end one. Um, it's the one with the little thingy above the, the rating uh, to suggest that he's the, the, the base version, the baby version. Uh, and I already had him in the club, so uh, put him into an exchange um, next up we then get an 84 times four after a couple of rubbish packs get the same card again i was hoping maybe it could be the 92 because he does look absolutely brilliant um not that i need another center mid i've got far too many at the moment we've just brought sen in haven't we uh but yeah we end up getting him again so that's another 50 player or 51 players we can add to the club uh via the exchange the foreign exchange program i think uh Zwei calls it um but yeah, the, the extra Thiago Silva there can go into the Team of the Week player pick. We get ourselves someone that's absolutely balling in the championship lately, which is Ellis Sims. Um, he's really come alive towards the end of the season for Kov. Uh, of course, a player that Ipswich were, I think, looking at or linked with last summer. So uh, yeah, it's showing that you know he's obviously quite a good player. Any Kov fans out there, I'm sure you're loving the way that things are going for you at the moment. Uh, close to the playoffs with a really nice team. And then a 51 player pack here gets me a Belgium goalkeeper. Yeah, oh yeah, we all know it's Castile. Oh my god, what? Get a 90 rated Courtois from the, uh, from the 51 player pack. Now that's a dub. Because of course, we put, oh, I put a 90 rated in, but it was one that I already had. So to get a 90 rated back and 50 other players... Huge wobble you. Um, so, back into rivals that we go. Four more wins to get. And uh, absolute belter of a first goal there. It was Kaka that scored that volley. Love that from the boy. Uh, really enjoying the Kaka card, actually. Uh, he's super, super fast. And I love the ping pass. I have to say it. Ping pass, at the moment, my favorite play style plus. 
Um, I went for a stage where it was finesse shot, went for a stage where it was uh, technical, and at the moment, it's pinged pass. Unbelievable. Oh, I loved incisive pass for a little bit as well, but ping pass at the moment is just god tier for me. Uh, I think it got a recent buff, didn't it? So maybe that's why it's super good now. But anyway, we got, as you can see there, a lovely little 4-1 victory in a game that wasn't the easiest. I'm not going to lie. It, some of these games were quite sweaty. I, I, I feel like my level isn't too far off where I'm actually at. I know I stayed around Div 7 and Div 6 for a long time throughout this game cycle, but... Uh, it's, it's not necessarily going to be super easy for me to push up to Division 4. We don't make it today, actually. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, maybe I'm just bang average at this game. Everyone else seems to be really good. Uh, this guy had a 96 Pele first owner and a 93 Mbappe first owner. Didn't even notice that at the time. I noticed the Pele, but not the Mbappe. Um of course, we are now in April, and I have still not packed any version of Mbappe this year, or Alexia Pateas, um, or Bon Matty. I don't think I packed Bon Matty. Maybe I have. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so still, still, they elude me. Hopefully, at some point during Tots, maybe I get, I get them. That'd be good if they were blue at the time. That'd be lovely. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, another victory. That gets me up to six wins. I probably ended up losing again. And then we go into another game. Luckily, you're just seeing the victories today. Uh, but this game was not as easy as uh, as it first... Well, not as it first looked, because this guy's got a lovely team. Uh, but this was a player-locking opponent, which you don't typically get down in these divisions. And I was struggling with it a little bit. I did go 1-0 up, uh, and then... Gary Rincher ends up putting me 2-0 up. I mean, I've been enjoying his dribbling uh, today, playing these games. I'm not going to lie. Now, my opponent uh, sticks one across the, that classic FC24 goal, um, which, yeah, fair play it is what it is. And then poor red time shot. I read, it, I read the goalkeeper movement nicely, but my opponent ended up... Uh, getting a dodgy rebound there but from his corner I counter-attack with Kaka play a nicely timed and weighted ball out to Timo Werner Kaka's making the run back inside little heel click to get past that defender I noticed a bit of goalkeeper movement kept it in the near post banged it home got the 3-2 dub got the game out of the way and it was about 4 p.m so uh, I had done quite well on my timing side of things for this video um Seven wins for the week. <clears throat> it just means that I can show you my rivals' rewards tomorrow. We get an 86 triple for the second, or to the penultimate part of that Galazzo Master uh, objective. I can get a Sandra Panos from it. Double walkout, of course. It's a triple walkout, let's face it. It's an 86 times three. So Sandra Panos and Thibaut Courtois. So a 90 rated again. We've already got him. So that can go into another exchange. Uh, racking up the gold players in my club so that I can do more player picks for you tomorrow as well. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, the other one was just an 86, I believe. But um, into the exchange you go. I wish there was a 90 exchange and a 91 exchange for like 75 players and 100 players. That would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Be incredible value. Um, and from that pack, we can get ourselves Ruben Diaz. So... Is th these 51 player packs today have been um, amazing. I get days where they're absolutely terrible, but they're obviously still worth it because you're only putting a duplicate 89 or whatever in. Uh, and then I get days where I get like basically the same rating player back again, again and again and again. So uh, yeah, huge dub. And then just to end the episode off here, uh, I do end up getting uh, another Team of the Week player pick. We get 87 harder. And uh, I'm now two out of the three sections done for Michael Essien. He's up to a 92 rated. He's got nearly all of his stats. But uh, with six more games of either squad battles, rivals, or champs, maybe champs qualies, uh, he will go up to his full form of uh, 92 with the icon design and all of the stats and all of that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we are... We're sitting pretty right now, my friends. It's been a fun episode for me to record. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. Cheers and follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a lovely day. Take it easy and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.